Welcome to Audio Memos. This video will show you the important features of your new recording software. First things first. Let's start the application and create a new memo. As you can see, there's a nice big record button on the bottom of the screen. Let's press it. Welcome. You can easily pause your recordings at any time. Playing it back is just as straightforward. Welcome. You can, of course, add a title to your memo to help you find it back later. Let's do that. Touch the cell containing the current title. A little X appears on the right. Press it. Just erase the title. Then just tap what comes to your mind. When you're finished, press Done. This will bring you back to the list of recordings. As you can see, Every item on the list displays the most important information about a memo. If you want more details about a memo, just press the arrow next to it. Now, imagine you want to add one more thing to that recording you've just made. It's easy. First, press Edit. Then, press the Record button. To Wonderland. Not convinced? This was what you wanted to record? No problem. Let's go back and change it. Confirm to the real world. There. Welcome to the real world. Now, let's get a copy of this memo on a computer. First, make sure your computer and iPhone or iPod are connected to the same wireless network. The network indicator in the status bar on top of the screen indicates we're connected to a wireless network. We'll assume it's the right one. On your computer, open a web browser and go to amazon.com. There, click connect to your iPhone. The first time you do this, you get a warning message on your iPhone. Read the message and select enable to go on. Go back to your web browser and connect again. As you can see, a list of recordings appears. Select the one you want to record and make a right click on it. Do download as, choose where to save your recording and click save. Wait for your recording to download and you're done. To save some space on your device, we can now go back to audio memos and delete the recording. Simply swipe your finger on the recording you wish to delete and confirm with the delete button. We'll now explore features provided by the paid extensions of audio memos. While recording, you might want to keep track of important events. As for example, if you're doing an interview, it might be good to highlight the beginning of a new question. To do that, just press the Add Bookmark button. Later on, back. when you're listening to the recording, you can use the forward backward button to navigate easily in your recording. You can also use a fast forward and a rewind button. Now, let's share a memo with a friend. Go to the detail view and press send. As our friend has an email address, we'll send him an email. Fill out the field with his email address You can also highlight the important parts of the recording and then press send. Next, let's create a new memo. This time, instead of pressing the record button, we'll press the plus button. This lets us set the quality and the stereo setting before starting a recording. 
Now, say you want to record only when there is actually something to record, and silence is usually not something you want to record. For that, we'll select Voice Activated Recording. A sound meter appears and lets you choose the sound level which will start the recording. You can also choose how long the sound level can stay under the threshold without stopping the recording. Let's press the Start Listening button. Recording will start when the sound level is high enough. As you can see, the sound meter turns from yellow to red when this happens. The standard sound meter and the pause button also give you an indication that recording is taking place. Another way to start or stop a recording is using a timer. It's quite straightforward. Just set a time interval, press start timer. When the timer reaches zero, recording will start or stop accordingly. Now, Imagine you have two recordings of a speech and you want to put them together. Press the edit button and search for your recordings. Then you can select them and press the merge icon. Put part one on top and press merge. If you're recording contains a too long applause at the end of the speech, you can easily cut it out. For that, go to the detail view, press the copy icon, and select the part of the recording you want to keep. To save some space on your device, you can also compress your edited recording. Now, you have a perfect recording of the speech. You're ready to send it. All iPhones connected to the same wireless networks and running audio memos appear on the send screen. This makes it extremely easy to send a memo to someone next to you. You can also send your recordings to any FTP or Web DAV server or to your iDisk. Another nice feature is you can access your memos using the Finder, either with the web browser method, your iPod or iPhone, and your computer have to be on the same wireless network. On your iPhone, press the I-shaped button. On the screen, you now see a link composed of numbers. Remember that link. On Mac, go to the Finder and press Command K. In Windows, Open the Explorer and press Alt. A menu appears. Click on Tools, then on Map Network Drive. In both OS, you now have to type in the link you got from your iPhone or iPod. Once you've typed it in, you can press the Connect or Finished button. As you can see, you can now access your recordings as normal files in the Finder. If you are interested in these extensions, you can find them in the info screen pressing the Browse and Buy extensions. To get a detail on an extension, just select it and then you can buy or find another extension that fits your needs. This concludes our tutorial. Do not hesitate to get in touch with us if you have further questions or suggestions. Thank you for your attention.